Volcanoes can be found in many different places around the world. While a lot of them are dormant, there are plenty more that are active and pose a significant risk to the people living in nearby areas. History is filled with devastating volcanic eruptions, and we may see many more in the coming years. From a volcano in Iceland that has the power to disrupt global travel, to an active volcano in Japan that threatens the lives of tens of thousands of people, here are five of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Located in the southeast of Iceland is the Urivajökull volcano. It is first on this list, and it is also first in terms of how difficult it is to pronounce. Its name roughly translates to Wasteland Glacier. Something interesting about this volcano is that it's actually covered by ice. Ice covered and volcano don't seem like things that go together, but they do. It's the largest volcano in Iceland and is considered to be the most dangerous. It's also the highest peak on the island, standing at nearly 7,000 feet above sea level. Back in 1362, slightly before the creation of YouTube, the volcano had a massive eruption. Ten cubic kilometers of debris was shot into the air. It completely wiped out nearby towns with pyroclastic flows, ash, and floods. Sailors wrote that so much pumice landed in the sea that they could barely make their way through it. Ash traveled all the way to Western Europe, and nobody lived in the area for 40 years afterwards. The danger with this volcano lies mostly in its potential to disrupt global air traffic. In 2010, a different volcano in Iceland erupted and caused major issues for air traffic. Twenty airports ended up closing down, which impacted an estimated 10 million passengers. In 2017 and 2018, seismic activity was once again detected at the Uruvajökull volcano, attracting the attention of scientists. Could it be due for another historically big eruption? Located deep in southern Japan lies the Sakurajima volcano. Sakurajima actually used to be an island, but thanks to a series of eruptions way back in 1914, it is now a peninsula. It is considered the most active volcano in the country and is one of the most infamous in the world. Sakurajima had a very active 2021 and did not take any time off for the pandemic. It dropped volcanic ash on the surrounding area, and scientists predict that it will have a major eruption sometime in the next 30 years. The volcano has thousands of small explosions every year. What makes Sakurajima particularly dangerous is that it is located closely to a densely populated area. This is the main reason why it's monitored so closely. The city of Kagoshima's 680,000 residents live just a few kilometers from the volcano. Because of this, the city conducts regular evacuation drills. There are shelters in the city where citizens can hide from falling volcanic debris in the event of a major eruption. Mount Vesuvius is one of the most well-known volcanoes in history. Chances are you've heard of how it destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD. Most people don't know, however, about the fact that Mount Vesuvius could erupt again. It is not a volcano that is content to rest on its laurels and look back on its past accomplishments. It might just have something big planned for the near future. Now, Mount Vesuvius is an active volcano and three million Italians happen to live close enough to be affected by an eruption. That is a lot of people, and that's precisely what makes it so dangerous. Half a million people live even closer in a region that's known as the Danger Zone. Mount Vesuvius is the most densely populated volcanic region in the entire world. Even an eruption that isn't as powerful as the one that hit Rome would do serious damage. The Italian government is very concerned about Mount Vesuvius and is actively trying to get people to move away from it. There are ongoing efforts to ban people from living too close, 
And they're offering the people who already live there money to go move somewhere else. Somewhere where there isn't the possibility of being buried in ash. The government's goal is to eventually have so few people living near the volcano that they could all be evacuated in just a few days. When Vesuvius erupted during the time of the Roman Empire, only a few thousand people died. If it erupted tomorrow, the disaster would be far worse. Kilauea is an active shield volcano in Hawaii. It is the most active of the five volcanoes that collectively form the Big Island of Hawaii. It's located on the southeastern shore, and its most recent eruption was in September of 2021. But technically speaking, this eruption is actually still ongoing. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory started to record increased earthquake activity and changes in ground patterns before the eruption. Lava erupted in towering fountains that were over 200 feet tall. But in Hawaii, 200-foot-tall lava eruptions aren't really considered a major eruption, so it was mostly business as usual. So far, 9.7 billion gallons of lava have spilled out of the volcano since this eruption began in September. This has created a brand new lava lake that is 217 feet deep and takes up 170 acres. In 2018, the United States Geological Survey National Volcanic Threat Assessment gave the volcano a threat score of 263. This makes it the volcano that is most likely to threaten people and infrastructure. This is not enough to scare away tourists, however, with over 2.6 million people visiting the volcano every year. There used to be a museum called the Thomas A. Jagger Museum that was popular with visitors. It had an observation deck where you could look out and see everything. But it had to close down because the building was partially destroyed by an earthquake in 2018. Because of how active it is and the threat it poses, it is considered to be one of the most dangerous volcanoes in America. Yellowstone National Park is a major tourist destination. It has all kinds of wildlife, scenic landscapes, and geysers. It's also the home of the Yellowstone Caldera. You may be more familiar with its more popular name, the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This volcano lies mostly in the northeast corner of Wyoming, but has parts that extend into the surrounding states. In total, the magma chambers are roughly 43 by 28 miles, making it one of the largest in the world. The Yellowstone supervolcano is so big that if there was a serious risk of eruption, it would be number one on this list. But what exactly would happen if it were to erupt? The effects of such a cataclysmic event would go way beyond just America. The whole world would feel it. The nearby region would of course get it the worst and be buried in ash. But so much ash would be put into the air that it would change the global climate for years. Pyroclastic flows would travel into Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. Luckily for everyone, scientists think that this sort of eruption is unlikely. At least, they do for now. The volcano has had at least three major eruptions in history with the oldest being over 2 million years ago, and the most recent being 640,000 years ago. You may think this is a sign that it is overdue, but scientists typically don't think so. Hopefully, no new information comes along to change their minds. The Tall Volcano is a volcano in the Philippines. Unlike many volcanoes, where most of their eruptions were in the distant, prehistoric past, Tall has been busy lately. Tall has 36 recorded historical eruptions. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if the volcano was off in the middle of nowhere. But Tall is located just 31 miles from Manila, the capital of the Philippines, and home to 1.8 million people. 
This volcano has had many deadly eruptions in recent years, taking many lives in the surrounding areas. The combined death toll of all of Tal's deadly eruptions is thought to be around 6,000. Because it is so active and so close to a densely populated area, it is closely monitored. Tal's most dangerous eruption was in 1911. An extremely powerful downward blast from the eruption forced hot steam, mud, sand, and gases down the slopes of the crater. This was the primary cause of death and destruction around the volcano. A few hours after this explosion, dust began to settle in Manila. An incredible amount of solid matter had been ejected during the eruption. Somewhere between 2.5 and 2.8 billion cubic feet was shot into the air. Ash descended onto an area 770 square miles large. Luckily, the area where actual destruction took place was only 89 square miles. The initial explosion was so loud that it could be heard 300 miles away. Could Tall be due for another mega eruption? or possibly something even bigger. In February of 2021, residents of the island were evacuated due to an increase in volcanic activity, and the official alert level was raised. The volcano emitted so much sulfur dioxide gas in the summer of 2021 that it caused volcanic fog to appear over Manila. It's possible that another large eruption is on the way. Volcanoes are found all over our planet, with many in very remote areas and others that are simply dormant. But of all the active volcanoes on Earth, a few stand above the rest in terms of the destructive capabilities they hold. Hopefully, we won't see any major activity from any of these volcanoes anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.